Good morning. My name is Reverend Dr. Holly Bonner. I'm the Director of Spirituality and Civic Engagement here at Wagner College. On behalf of our administration, faculty, staff, students, and trustees, I want to thank you for joining us virtually for this interfaith memorial tribute as we pause to acknowledge the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. 2000 977 souls were lost on that fateful day. They were our fathers, mothers, sisters, and brothers. They were our aunts, uncles, cousins, and coworkers. They were the heroic firefighters, police, and EMS workers who swore to protect and serve, and in doing so, sacrificed their own lives in pursuit of saving others. Each individual lost was somebody's child, and we know these families still grieve for their departed loved ones. So let us begin today's tribute with a prayer of reflection. God of comfort, we lift our prayer this day on the 20th anniversary of September 11th. We ask you to surround us with protection and your divine providence. September 11th was a day when we as a nation lost so many. May we take this time to honor the women and men who lost their lives. Guide us with the courage to know that when we stretch out our hands to you, we feel your embrace in the arms of our neighbor. May we always remember that we are one family in this world. Help us to know that our pain is yours and the tears of our family fall on your heart. Guide us as a nation and help your people to never forget how so many laid down their lives for their friends on September 11th, 2001. We ask this in your divine name, amen. I would now like to introduce Wagner's president, Dr. Joel Martin and his wife, Jan. Welcome to the Wagner College Remembrance of 9-11 on the 20th anniversary of these events. Some of us witnessed them in person. Some of us witnessed them on television. Some of us were not yet born, and yet we all gathered together here at Wagner in remembrance and respect. We are so grateful to Reverend Dr. Holly Bonner and the other interfaith chaplains that are helping our community Remember this day. Thank you, Dr. and Mrs. Martin. We will now begin our interfaith offerings for the morning. Wagner College is grateful for the continued support of the interfaith community, including volunteer clergy and chaplains from New York State Chaplain Task Force. This morning, you will hear from Reverend Dr. Daniel Delgado, Rabbi Dr. Robin Tosarski, Chaplain Zilpha Bash and Pandit Rory Ram. Oh God, our hope and refuge and our distress would come quickly to you. Shock and horror of that tragic day have subsided and has been replaced with an emptiness and a longing for an innocence loss, comfort and strength in the family and friends of those who died. Give healing and patience to the survivors of the attacks who are living with continued physical and psychological pain. May those of us who survive feel gratitude and not guilt. Affirm each person whose life changed forever of your protection and your strength. Remove the nightmares, silence the anxiety. Let us learn to depend on you. Guide the choices of our world leaders. Give them wisdom and discernment, not only as they work to resolve the lasting effects of 9-11 attacks, but also as they try to alleviate the terror of all sorts, from genocide to hunger, from drought to bombings. May the actions bring your peace throughout this world. Father, we come to you 
For your word declares that if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, that you would hear from heaven and heal our land. So we ask God, Lord, that you would heal our land. We have seen how easily buildings can fall and how quickly lives can end. As we remember 9-11 may remind us that you are our only true security. Give us your strength to face this memory and the changes it made in our lives. Give us your compassion to help each other. Give us your hope as we face an uncertain future. Give us your peace. We ask this in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. This prayer is the Kaddish. It is the Jewish memorial prayer. Typically, the names of those who are gone are recited before the prayer. This was adapted by Rabbi Ken Milhandler specifically for September 11th. Yitkadal, the North Tower. Biyikadash, the South Tower. Shmei Rabbah, the military and civilian Pentagon personnel. Yama Divrach Virote, American Airlines Flight 11. Yamlich Malchute, American Airlines Flight 77. Bechayechon Uviomechon, United Airlines Flight 93. Uchaye Dechol Beit Yisrael, United Airlines Flight 175. Ba'agala Uvizman Kari Vimru Amein, the police officers. Yehesh me rabah mevarach li'olam ulame amaya, the firefighters. Yiparach yishabach, the chaplains. Viet pa'ar viet roman vi'inase, the anonymous rescuers. Viet hadar viet alel viet alal, the employers and employees. Shmei de kudusha brichu, the building maintenance workers and vendors. Leila min kol birchata v'shirata, the tourists and customers. Tushbachata Venechamata, the heroes who diverted United Airlines Flight 93. Da'amiran, Da'amiran Bialma Vimru Amain, the men and women, boys and girls. Yehesh Slama Rabba Min Shamaya, the husbands, wives, and children, the young and old. Bechayim Aleinu Ba'akol Yisrael, people of all faith. Vimru Amain the innocence and sense of security that we lost. Ose shalom bimramav, hu yase shalom, aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael, the hope in each other and promise of tomorrow we found. V'imru, amen. May all who we lost, may their memories be a blessing. Audu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Ar-Rahman r-Rahim. Maliki yawmiddin. Iya kana budu iya kana sta'in. Idina sirata mustaqim sirata alladhina namta alayhim ghayri almaghdubi alayhim waladdallim Ameen Dear God, as we stand before you on this 20th anniversary of 9-11 we ask of you to be our source of strength, healing, and comfort. As our pain still lingered on, our Lord, you are compassionate, merciful, forgiving. And so we turn to you for your help and guidance. May we grieve with those who still mourn. May we share memories with those who come, cannot forget. May we move from suffering to hope, from anxiety to courage, from fear to love. Our Lord, shower your blessings, mercies, peace, love on all of us. We pray it in your mighty, powerful name and for your sake. Amen. Amen.
I'm Rory Ram, priest of the Hindu faith and a member of the New York State Chaplain Task Force. Today I share with you my prayer. Om Sahana Bhavatu, Sahana Bhunaktu, Sahaviryankar Bhavahai, Tejas Vinavadhita Mastu, Ma. Om Pakshemaksha Birya Jatraha, Tirai Rangai Sushuvam Sastanavi, Vyashe Mahitam Yadayu. May we continue to grow together. May we continue to be nourished together. Let there be no jealousy, no hatred amongst us. Let there be peace, let there be love, let there be harmony. Today we pray and we ask of the Divine Creator for the for there to be peace in the life of all. For those who have lost their life in this tragic event, that may they be able to find peace. For the families, relatives, and friends, and all of us who have been so devastated, we pray and we ask for the divine to bless each and every one that may we be able to find that love within our heart. May we be able to find that forgiveness. May we be able to find that compassion. May we be able to find the tolerance. May we be able to share with each other, to care for each other, especially in supporting each other through a difficult time like this. As we remember those who have lost their lives, that may they be able to find peace. And each and every one of us who remain, may we be able to put our shoulders together, our strength together, our love and our affection together and be able to move forward in supporting each other on this occasion. O Hari Om Shanti, 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 Hari Om. We thank each member of clergy for their inspiring words. Now, Wagner's own Ruth Seitzma will offer a vocal selection singing America the Beautiful. Wagner College community was not spared from experiencing excruciating grief on September 11th, 2001. We lost 11 
precious alumni, 11 Seahawks who are gone, but certainly not forgotten. We ask that you hold each of these individuals and their families in your mind, heart, and spirit today. Nicolina Astorina, Director of Alumni Relations, will read the names of our dearly departed. We will now read the names of Wagner's departed. Together we remember Alfred John Braca, class of 1969. Michael Camerata, class of 2000. Michael J. Clark, class of 1996. John E. Connolly, class of 1976. Joseph Doyle, class of 1999. Michael C. Fiore, class of 1978. Michael D. Rianzo, class of 1987. Timothy J. Finnerty, class of 1994. Joseph J. Hassan III, class of 1991. Alan K. Jensen, class of 1974, and Patrick Versage, class of 1989. Wagner College also acknowledges all those we have lost due to 9-11 related illnesses and those who continue to live with the physical and emotional scars of the September 11 attacks. September 11th is annually recognized as the National Day of Service and Remembrance. Congress designated it Patriot Day. Many members of our Wagner community will spend today volunteering across our great city. We encourage all who are watching to participate in these efforts wherever you are. We thank you for spending part of your morning with Wagner College by attending this interfaith memorial tribute for the 20th anniversary of September 11th. I leave you now with our closing prayer. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen.